What's up guys, Sharky Choshi here again, bringing you another battle video. So, hello, how are you? Hope you guys are having a great day and had a great weekend. So, uh, this is a pretty interesting battle that I'm going to be showing you today. This is also a VGC battle, if you guys haven't noticed. But anyway, guys, uh, this is a pretty interesting battle because this was a battle from a tournament that I was recently in. A not too long ago, probably a couple of days ago. It was on, I think, Saturday. But, um pretty awesome tournament if you guys know who the justin flynn is which most of you should know who he is he's a good he's a big uh youtuber he's also a big streamer um he does a lot of pokemon content does a lot of vgc content and i'll link uh to his stream and to his um channel down below so this is a tournament that I was recently in. Uh, i was lucky enough to get into the tournament this is a 16-man tournament uh justin flynn hosts uh tournaments on his twitch channel every month uh, VGC singles, you know, crazy stuff like that, and um, I was lucky enough to get in his, into his VGC uh, tournament, and if you guys, um, this is a 16-man tournament, so the first two rounds are going to be uh, one and done, so if you lose, uh, you're out of the tournament, and if you win, you advance, while his semifinals and his finals are... Um, uh, best two out of three so this is the first round and uh, my first round battle so um, I am fighting Daniel or Ritzcracker in the chat um, so we're gonna go ahead and talk about the team and then go into the battle and then from there you know um, all this other good stuff so I'm running a Kang Amoongus a uh, Rotom and last but not least an Azumarill this is the exact same team that I took to the international challenge with changes and of course that Azumarill has a protect <laughs> and uh, while uh, Daniel is running a Kang Azumarill um, Titar and last but not least a, um, a Talonflame so let's go let's go ahead and go into the battle um, I the changes that I did uh, after the international challenge were very huge which you guys are going to see in this battle um i'm really happy with the changes i'm really happy with the team in general uh the team performed very well into the international challenge even without the changes even without play testing it and um i really wish i did these changes i really wish i play tested it before the international challenge because um it really did affect my play and uh, <laughs> i didn't know what to do with the team so um since I'm more veteran with the team and uh, this is more of a refined version than the international challenge then you guys are going to see. So anyway, he's going to go ahead and lead his Kang and his Zumaro. I'm going to go ahead and lead my Amoongus and my Kang. He's going to go for the helping hand. Uh, right here, I go for a greedy power-up punch and a... Um, and a uh, d -d 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 rage powder. Because I want uh, rage powder, you know, get... Amoongus to get attacked and then get a free power up punch. It's a greedy move because like you see there uh, His Kang is faster than my Kang and um, He can outspeed my plus two rage powder So he just uh, he went for, to fake out my Amoongus, which was a huge play It helped me out a lot got me my uh, plus two on my Kang go for the sucker punch end up knocking out his Kang So I was faster than him. Uh, he won the speed tie on the fake out um and then since he doesn't have the priority, if he has a speed tie, and since he doesn't have priority anymore, um, my uh, Sucker Punch end up knocking out his Pokemon. So he's going to go for the play rough, do a good amount of damage, and then I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, kick a drain so I can go ahead and regen my Amoongus back to full life, almost full life. Um, I really wish this Amoongus was a um, Rocky Helmet Regenerator Amoongus because I'm believing, I'm starting to believe that the Regenerator Amoongus uh, with Rocky Helmet is a lot better build than the Black Sludge or the Citrus Berry um, Effect Spore Amoongus, but they're both extremely powerful builds and they're both good in their own uses. So he's going to go for the Brave Bird. I know he's going to one-shot my Amoongus. Um, going, go ahead and sacrifice my Amoongus to knock out his Talonflame because his Talonflame is a big threat and i know that um i could take out his azumarill with my azumarill and my uh rotom in the back so i really don't care if my uh kang ends up getting knocked out here uh my kang already did a lot of work ended up knocking out his uh mega and uh knocking out his big priority pokemon which is uh his talent flame so knocked out both of his big priority uh, Pokemon he ends up bringing in his Titar so this is a very 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 nice for me because now I have Rotom and Azumarill to knock out these two Pokemon um, so uh, <laughs> pretty uh, good lead by my part pretty good lead um, uh, pr at, at the end uh, his Pokemon just had no chance against mine and uh, him faking out my Amoongus was huge because that's what I wanted and um, got the free two power up punches and knocked out his um, his Talonflame and his Kang which are the huge priority uh, Pokemon that can just decimate my team so 
of course, he's going to go ahead and try to uh, knock out my my <laughs> my Rotom. But at this point, the game is already over. I'm going to go for the Hydro Pump, do a significant amount of damage to his T-Tar. And then the Play Rough is going to go ahead and knock out his T-Tar. So this is my round one battle. Uh, pretty awesome battle. Um, keep in mind that this guy is a singles player. So, um, you know, if he made any mistakes in the VGC, then please don't hate on him because uh, he is a very extremely strong singles player. And uh, some people are not that great in double battles. Um, like me, if I were to go into singles battle, I will completely get destroyed. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I do love the changes to this team. Like uh, I said, I... Um, you guys are going to see that this Rotom becomes an extremely powerful Pokemon. Uh, the more the tournament goes on, the next battle you're going to see how uh, Rotom, since I advanced, you guys know I won. Uh, the next battle you're going to see that um, uh, the new move that I put on Rotom really makes him a huge powerhouse Pokemon. And then having Protect on Azumarill is uh, very clutch. And then... Um, the only change that I say I would change is that I would rather have Regenerator, Rocky Helmet, and Moongus because it does more damage to physical attackers. And uh, with that Rage Powder, um, you can just decimate Mega Kings. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do have more videos from the International Challenge, uh, more live videos, so I will be posting those up also. And I will be posting up this team on... Um, my channel pretty soon so sorry about the crappy mic and sorry about uh not uploading videos for three days i was uh hanging out with my parents I haven't seen them in a long time and you know stuff like that so anyway guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time guys i'll see you guys later with more battle videos bye guys